this is anand mahajan your instructor for this course of python in the previous lecture we have learned how to insert a new record and now we would be learning inserting a new record dynamically now what do we mean by dynamically this video is brought to you by apipies academy dynamically means we will be taking some variables assigning them some values or these values can be read from the user using the input function then what we will do is we will be inserting these values into the table uh, let me explain the program the first thing we have done is importing mysql dot connector and give it and uh, we have given it an alias name mysql afterwards uh, we have taken a variable e code names of variables could be anything e code 909 bsar is equal to some value hr is equal to some value sex is equal to m for male male okay then uh, you are familiar with this uh, creation of the connection object mysql dot connect i have supplied the arguments databases employees right and then i have created an object of the uh, i have created an object of the cursor class so that has been put into curve then i have taken a string variable and written insert into master values now this is the main point to be learned insert into master values percentile as percentile f percentile f percentile c then i have closed this string but after that what i have written is percentile names of the variables values of which are to be inserted into the table you can see the syntax clearly it's a it's a simple syntax so what will happen is after execution of this uh, statement what will happen is the values of these variables namely e code b cell hra sex they will be put into the table now the first format specifier we have already done these format specifiers in one of the previous lectures which were in the beginning percentile s stands for string percentile f for float this percentile f for float percentile c for single character so now the first percentile s format specifier is corresponding to e code which has been taken as a string in the table then b cell hra and sex so these values will be inserted into the table then i have started the try block then cur dot execute sql this uh, statement uh, which has been put into the string variable sql will be executed commit will as i have told you in the previous lecture finalizes finalizes the insertion of the record insertion of the record then in order to see whether the record has been inserted or not i have used cur dot execute select star from master then you are familiar with this fetch all fetch all will uh, retrieve all the rows produced through the execution of the previous sql statement that will be put into an object call this name could be anything right and then what i have done is uh, let this go uh, then i have applied the for loop uh, i have applied the for loop are in call and it will print row by row right then this is accept if any error occurs error inserting the record will come and rollback will cancel the operation because some error has occurred regarding insertion of the record then we will close the database connection let me execute this program control shift f10 oh yeah this is the output one record has been inserted now uh, again uh, let me change the values e code 101 b cell 9000 and let hra be suppose 500 point something and sex f for female right control shift f10 now second record will be inserted and as you can see this select statement is showing now two records so uh, such type of insertion is called dynamic insertion 